それでは今日もスタートノリ Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another classic retro game play. Retro. Can we call this game retro? When did this game come out? Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. I gotta, I gotta figure this one out. When, when did this game come out? Let me look this up. 2012. This game came out 2012. Damn. I feel old now. Man. 2012. I feel old. Wow, that really sucks. That really sucks. Yeah, so today, guys, we're playing Dead or Alive 5,、uh, the last round edition. I mean, probably the last good DOA game. I think we can all agree. You know, DOA 6, it had its issues, it had its problems.、Um, was it a bad game? Nah, not really. It wasn't a bad game. It wasn't a great game, though. Like, this is a great game. So, you know, to follow it up with DOA 6 was kind of a disappointment. But. DOA 5, yeah, let's,、uh, let's check it out. Yeah, so I tried to play online. Unfortunately, I realized I don't have my PlayStation Plus account anymore because my PlayStation is currently a oversized paperweight that is just collecting dust in the corner. So, unfortunately, we can't see if anybody is going to be playing this online.、Um, if there is anybody playing it online, I, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I can't imagine there's too many people playing DOA 5 in 2024 online on the PS4. But unfortunately, we won't know. So, back to single player, which is usually how it goes、uh, for these videos anyway. Alright, so here we go. Looking at all these characters, man, this brings back memories. I have every single character except for Mai, because I didn't get the DLC. Because she wasn't part of the full package. You had to get her separately, and that was the only one that you had to get separately. But of course, I'm going to be playing Melia. That is my, that's my girl. That's who I got to play, you know? And it's just, this is where it all started. Playing as her. This was her debut. And、uh, just going through some of the costumes, man, you know what? It's, it's really cool how some of these costumes are. But it's also looking back, you know, how good we had it. You know, the DOA 6 costumes, even when they ported all that crap over, just couldn't, couldn't compete with DOA 5. And I've always said this, people have called me crazy, but I always thought that DOA 5 looks way better than DOA 6. I don't know what it is, but I always thought this game looks way better than DOA,、uh, DOA 6. But、uh, what costume do I want to use? What do I want to use? What do I want to use? You know what? You know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use the Makoto one for the. Arxis crossover, which you can't get anymore because the licensing actually expired. So you can't get this costume anymore. You can't get any of the Arxis costumes anymore for characters. So there w a s a bunch of characters that got special costumes that just don't, just don't exist anymore. And、uh, if you didn't get them、uh, all, all those years ago, unfortunately, that's it. <laughs> you can't get them anymore. You might be able to get them on the PC version, though. I think if you,、um, you know, uh, uh, cream API it, it might be on there, but I'm not, I'm not sure. And to be honest, I mean, like I said, this game came out in 2012. It's over a decade old, you know, this game. And I'm getting my fucking ass handed to me by、uh, Lisa right here. So just one more. Oh, nope. I, I'm fucking dead. I am dead. But. You know what, guys? In DOA, even when you lose, you still win. You know? You still win. I mean, this is the kind of stuff we're missing from the modern fighting games. You know, this is, this is what we're missing in the modern FGC. All right, running in the back, trying again. Let's see. Let's see if I can make it a little further. I am playing on Legend, so this is the hardest difficulty、um, for the game. So, I like, I like to challenge myself a little bit. You know, oh, and there goes his hat. You kick him in there. Throw him. There we go. That's it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I don't need to follow up and kick him a bunch of times because he was already dead, but it's the statement. You know, you gotta, you gotta let the AI know that you, you mean business. You know, you're not taking this shit no more. Especially with Zach here. He's tried winding it up. That didn't work. There we go. Get on him. Punch him. Punch him. Punch him in the face. Pick up some power ups. He's taunting. Oh, God. And I forgot his taunt actually does shit. Because, <laughs> of course, it does. Because it's fucking Zach. 
Here we go. Akira from Vo Virtual Fighter. Remember Virtual Fighter? No, you don't. Nobody remembers Virtual Fighter. Not even Sega remembers Virtual Fighter. But uh, yeah, he's in this. I think, and Sarah is also in this as well. Which I think is Sarah in. Oh, Amelia, is Sarah in DOA Six? I actually don't remember if she is or not. That is, should be something for all you uh, trivia sleuths out there to see if she's actually in this game. Uh, DOA Six. I mean, not in this game. As I beat up Kasumi a little bit. See, I keep trying to do like the hold breaks and you know the other stuff from DOA Six. Like those mechanics, but I forgot they're just not in this game. And you know, what? I actually quite like the uh, the how they oh fucking Brad Wonk. I actually like how they did the um, they changed up the gameplay, like the mechanics and stuff for DOA Six. I thought it was like really good. I liked it. I thought it was fun. You know, some something fresh, something fresh to change it, change it up. And I'm beating up Pi. Pi is also another virtual fighter. Tomy, classic. I don't know, is Atomi classic? Yeah, I think she's classic. Was she when did Atomi was she Atomi in it since DOA one? Or was she like a DOA like two or three? I don't remember. Actually, yeah, actually I don't remember when Atomi debuted. This girl, I don't remember her at all. Who is this? Nayatori? I don't remember you. But she's kicking my ass, so she's sitting on me. Oh god. You know, in any other circumstances, I would like that, but holy shit, man, I'm getting my fucking ass kicked here. Oh, God, perfect. I got fucking perfected by this character I don't remember seeing. Who was that? Who the hell was that? <laughs> yeah, so one thing that is cool about DOA 5 is they added, like, these little movies and stuff for, like, the beach. Uh, which, is, like, this is, like, the only time you can see some of these characters like this. So I'm fairly certain they added this in when they were advertising, um... Dead or Alive Extreme 3 when that was coming out. But of course, as many of you would know, if you you know even followed uh, DOA Extreme 3, or if you followed the channel because I played it last year, uh, DOA 3 Extreme didn't come out in North America. So you had to import the game. So a lot of the characters just aren't available. Like you can't see them like on the beach setting anymore. Like Melee here, like you just, she just doesn't exist in DOA Extreme 3 because of the uh, the way they did it where only the characters that won a poll like if you won like a character won the poll they were uh, in the game but of course Koei Tecmo because it's a Japanese company the thing was only available in Japan so all the Japanese picked the Japanese popular characters and Melia of unfortunately is not a popular character in Japan so she didn't get in the game and if memory serves me right, she still isn't in Venus Vacation, the gacha game. There's actually newer characters in Venus Vacation than some of the characters that are in like regular DOA. Like, like I'm pretty sure uh, Lisa isn't in uh, Venus Vacation either. Or, um, I mean, of course, you know, Nia Tango is and Maria Rose is. I mean, Rachel, well, well that's not a... You know, that's not a uh, a character for um, for Koei Tecmo, so she's definitely not going to be in Venus Vacation. So this is like the only time like you can actually see this. So it was really cool that they made all this to advertise Dead or Alive Extreme Three. But like I said, Extreme Three never came out in North America. So unless you imported it, this is this is it. This is all you got. <laughs> you only got this and uh, nothing else. So enjoy it while it lasts. All right, so another thing that we lost from DOA 6 was the tag. You know, the tag, which I, which, damn, which has been a feature since at least DOA 4. I don't remember how far back. I don't know if it was in DOA 3. It definitely wasn't in, oh shit, mate, was it in DOA 2? I think it actually might have been DOA 2. So, so something that has been in the franchise for so long just they just removed it from doa 6 and i don't know what the reasoning was i mean maybe they didn't have the time for it but it was such a letdown to get rid of tag i mean tag okay let's be honest tag isn't really played all that much compared to single and especially 
since they tried to make six the more esports like game and getting tag in it wasn't really going to you know like work i guess but uh i still miss it and i thought it was like a great addition so yeah rest in peace to tag so as you can see i got melia and i got helena as my tag partner and i'm getting my ass kicked Oh god, oh god. There we go. I actually don't remember how to tag in my partner, so this should be fun as I try to figure this one out. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay. I thought I did, I guess not. Oh god, fucking Brad Wong. Santa Claus Brad Wong, which is probably the best costume for Brad Wong. And as you can see, I am using the Senran Kagura skin costume for Melia here which I don't know if it's like the Arxis ones where you can't get them anymore I'm gonna assume you can still get them because I mean Senra and Kagura they just they're just happy <laughs> that you know they exist you know they're just happy to be around you know it's like they're just happy to be invited to the party Senra and Kagura which is another unfortunate casualty to this you know censorship crusade that's been going on is that there hasn't been a, a Senran Kagura game in forever because, um, you know, you can't have any, can't have nice things anymore in fighting games. Everything has to be ugly and gross and disgusting. I think it'd be good. And I hate Alpha. I hate I hate this fucking character. We could fucking die, die. There we go. I hate that character. Such an such an annoying character. I'm glad she wasn't in DOA Six, which you know that's fucking pain, Sarah. There we go, fucking Samus Aran right here. Samus, Samus Aran looking fucking character. Ooh, she actually broke out of it. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh god. Oh god. You know, oh, she flipped me over. Alright, here we go. Lisa. Well, it's not Lisa. It's Mariposa now. There we go. Throw her. Do some. You want to do some wrestling? I'll do some wrestling. Do some MMA. Yeah, so, one thing I really like with Amelia um, is the MMA style that they did. I think it's really cool. I think more... Oh, actually, speaking of Amelia, here's another Amelia. But uh, I think it's really cool having a character that does, like, MMA in, like, these fighting games. And I, I can't think of too many off the top of my head of characters that are just, like, strictly, like, mixed martial arts. I mean, you got characters that do, like, Taekwondo or, like, you know, uh, Tai Chi or, like, something like that. But just like a straight up, you know, MMA, you know, octagon type of fighting is, it's not, not, it's not that, um, common. You know, there's a lot of boxing characters and there's a lot of characters that do, um, have, uh, what the hell's the, the kicking one? Was that a jujitsu? The, the one that uh, Jury does. Taekwondo. That's the one I'm looking for. Taekwondo. Yeah. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of characters that do that, but just like straight MMA, like, I think Melee's the only one, at least the only one at the top of my head that I can think of that is just like strict MMA. So I kind of is it like is it Christmas time? Why is there all these? Those are everybody's fucking Santa costumes. But yeah, I, I really like the MMA for Melee, and I kind of wish there was more characters that um, did it. Oh shit! Okay, well there goes Melee, but here comes Helena, here to save the day. I wonder if I would. I wonder if I get Melia back if I win this, or am I just gonna be stuck with Helena? Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah I think I think I'm stuck with Helena now. I think that's it for Melia. Oh crap! Here we go. Yeah, I'm not that I'm not that great with Helena. She's definitely my. Um, she was my secondary character. You know, if uh, somebody knowledge checked me on on Melia. But, uh, yeah, I'm not that great with her. She's a really, like, slippery character in that she has a lot of moves that, you know, like that, that <laughs> kind of hit in, like, all directions. Yeah, so, like, it's, like, very graceful and, like, very, you know, just, like, oh, shit, I think the game kind of froze there. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's very graceful like that. But, um, yeah, if you fucking play her <laughs> better than I do... You can actually, you know, you can actually experience, you know, how good Helena actually is. So. 
Let's see. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Where's Hayabusa right here? Fucking the main character, Ninja Gaiden. Has there been, you know what? I said earlier there wasn't a Senran Kagura game in like forever. There hasn't been a Ninja Gaiden game in fucking forever either, you know? What is Koei Tecmo doing these days? Like, what are they, like, what do they, what do they do these days? What are they known for? Because they're not doing DOA. They're not doing, uh, um, Ninja Gaiden. So, like, what are they doing? What are you, what are you guys doing over there? You're just, you're just sitting around, you know, just chilling. God, this doesn't look good. No, it does not. Hanukkah. Puss me away. Yeah. You know, if Koei Tech Mount just came out at EVO, or even EVO Japan... Oh, shit, wait, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Damn it, I've dated the video now. But, yeah, I'm recording this when EVO Japan's going on. So, who knows when this video goes up. If it goes up anytime soon, but... If Koei Tecmo came out and just said, like, Oh yeah, DOA 7 coming soon, I think that would be, like, the coolest thing in the world. But I know it's not going to happen because... The timing just isn't right for it. I mean, DOA 6 got a ton of shit because they had to censor, like, everything for it. So to try to release it now with all, like, the censorship and, like, moral crusades that have been going on against uh, video games, the game will get torn apart by, like, the critics and everything. And I, I know... I know the hardcore DOA fans will buy the game and will support the game. And the FGC will support the game. But the bottom line of having all that negative press surrounding it isn't something they want to deal with. And that's what really sucks about uh, the potential for a DOA 7. Is that it's just it's just not going to happen. This is not going to happen. Alright, here we go. This is the costume that I used when I played DOA 5 all those years to go in tournaments and everything like that. And uh, once again, we're playing survival, and this is the hardest difficulty once again. So please, would you hit my music, and let's get this thing going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. High, high energy, high energy, let's go. Kick Jan Lee's ass. You guys remember Jan Lee? No, you don't. You don't remember Jan Lee. You remember Leon? Of course you don't. Nobody remembers Leon. I don't even think Leon was even in DOA 6. That's how forgettable he is. Actually, no, he's not in DOA 6. Because Bayman was in DOA 6. Get my fucking ass handed to me again. There we go. Yes, I'm doing. I'm just really just doing like just a lot of punches with Amelia. And in DOA five, her punches are actually like really, really good. So it's like really good to use them. You don't have to, you don't have to like do like anything crazy for them. And that's it. Rad Wong. See, people remember Rad Wong. I think I think Rad Wong is the only person people remember. And you know, I was saying before about uh, Amelia being the only MMA rep. You know, Drunken Fist. That's that's that's, cool. that's, that's a cool style. Here's Neo Tango again. Yara. Oh, oh. You know, Mortarmelons and that guitar. Boom. Oh shit, yeah, you wanna play games? How about this? Marie Rose, you took my spot. You took my spot in DOA Extreme 3, you have fucking character. That's right, I like Marie Rose, she's actually a pretty cool character, but I'm gonna fucking destroy her anyway. Ah, oh, here we go, Alpha. I gotta kill Alpha before they can start teleporting and get and shit like that. This fucking character. That's this. That's <laughs> I am so glad this character is dead, and I never have to fight her again. There we go. Fang, now her into the electric trap. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, knock me down. Yeah, ooh, yeah, knock me in the air. Yeah, watch this. Oh, I'm gonna die now. I'm gonna die. Oh, yo, you thought you were gonna win? Oh, shit. Oh, okay, you did win. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, well, that was kind of anticlimactic. But, uh, like I said, you know what? In DOA, even when you lose, you still kind of win.
All right, guys, so that is it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed this little retro gameplay. I mean, 2012, man, that's over 10 years ago. Man, that makes me feel so old. How old does that make you feel? Do you feel old? Because I feel old just thinking about it. 2012, damn, man, that's, that's a long time ago. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you like what you see, Remember to like the uh, like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. If I said it correctly, the little subscribe thing would light up. I'll say it again. Subscribe to the channel. Ooh, isn't that isn't that cool? Like it lights up and stuff. Isn't that something? Um, if it doesn't though, well then I just look like an ass. But <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Take care.